Hey guys, MD here from Nightcore Singapore. If you hate carrying around bulky power banks, you are in luck. This is 89 grams. It's waterproof, it charges fast, and it's thinner than my wallet. This might be the ultralight power bank you've been waiting for. Meet the Nightcore NB Air. But at this weight and size, what is the catch? Are you sacrificing battery life for slimness? Are you trading durability for portability? Or is this finally a power bank with zero compromises? Right, let's start with the build. So you've got double-sided carbon fiber sheets on the outside and a composite frame on the inside. Together, they create what Nightcore calls an anti-torsion structure. Basically, it won't twist or bend easily despite being super slim. It's surprisingly rigid for something this light at just 89 grams. Size-wise, it's about 92 by 48 by 9.7 mm. So that's roughly the height of a credit card, just a bit wider, right? incredibly thin. This is smaller than any smartphone I own and about the same thickness I've been starting this into places where normal power banks wouldn't fit. Like narrow pockets, slim sling bags, even card holders can fit this now. So it's changed how I think about organizing my gear. I used to have a slot in my bag dedicated to power banks like this. Now this fits anywhere. So according to Nightcore, things in your pocket hit and bounce around about 1,400 times for every kilometer you run. So eventually you'll find sharp corners will wear and tear through fabrics and such. So rounded corners help prevent wear and tear and it just feels nicer in your hand. So I've been carrying it daily for two weeks now, commuting, trail running, camping, and most of the time I forget it's even there because it kind of disappears into your pocket or bag because it's just so light and so slim. There's a single USB-C port for charging in and out and a touch button to check battery levels. Four blue LEDs to show your remaining power. Now when it comes to batteries, the NB Air packs an energy density of 310 milliwatts per gram, which is actually pretty awesome. For context, most standard power banks have energy densities of around 200 to 250 milliwatt per gram. Take Xiaomi's slim power bank for example. Similar size and charging speed to the NB Air at 5000 mAh, but if you look closer, the rated capacity is 2700 mAh. The NB Air's rated capacity is 3300 mAh because of its higher energy density. This means it packs more power per gram than any other power bank of its size. So in real world use, here's what that translates to. So an iPhone 15 Pro like this, about 80% charged from empty. AirPods Pro, about three to four full chargers. A Tini 3 flashlight, about 10 full chargers. EDC 23 here, roughly about two full chargers. So safety wise, with all the power bank fires on flights recently, the built-in MCU handles temperature protection, prevents overcharging, short circuits, and manages optimal charging performance. And yes, it operates in temperatures from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. So that covers pretty much every outdoor scenario that you will realistically encounter. Charging time, it recharges fully in about 2.5 hours with a fast charger. And if you're wondering about cables, check this out. Nightcore also makes the N-Link 10 here, a foldable USB-C to C cable that pairs perfectly with the NB Air. It weighs just 11 grams and supports 60 watts and 3A charging. So that's way more power than the NB Air even needs. So you can plug it in like this, right? Very slim. Very nice, very discreet, okay? So it's tough too, fabric braided here with aluminum connectors and reinforced stress point. So this is definitely built to last. The strong magnets keep it locked like this and it's easy to pack away and find. Now the NB Air can only charge one device at a time up to 18 watts. So that's fast enough for everyday use. In my test, charging an iPhone 15 Pro got me consistently about 80% from empty before the NB Air was fully drained. Ran three full recharge cycles and the result stayed consistent. So that's a good sign of reliability. While it's not designed for underwater use, uh, rain or splashes wouldn't bother it at all. In real world use, this power bank is ideal whenever every gram counts. Right? Hiking, trail running, outdoor photography. This thing disappears in your bag because it is so light. I especially like it for trail runs. Uh, heavy gear bouncing around destroys your rhythm. Power bank reduces that so there's lesser distraction. It's also perfect for everyday carry urban life. Right? Daily commutes, I barely notice it in pants, pockets or slim bags. It fits nicely into minimalist carry setups. Now ladies, you also appreciate this too. No more bulk gear ruining your outfit lines or, or fattening up your purse is genuinely very sleek. Camping as well, I like to set this aside for powering my smaller items, my GPS, headlamps or comps gear for over longer trips. Then I save my bigger power banks for phones and, and other heavier use gear. But how does this compare to other Nightcore power banks? So now one thing about Nightcore, they only 
make carbon power banks and they don't want to compete with mainstream brands like Anchor or Xiaomi on the biggest capacity for the lowest price. They are going for the highest energy density per gram. So that's why the materials are all carbon. They don't use any heavy glass or aluminum like the fancier power banks here. So here's a quick lineup overview in terms of weight. So first up, they got the NB Air here, 89 grams. Then they got the carbon battery, 6K. So this 88 grams. After that, you got the MB 10K here, 150 grams, 10,000 milliampere. Then moving up, you got the Pocket 1000, 160 grams, also 10,000 milliampere. Then next up, you got the Carbo 10K here, 179 grams. Now let's compare the NB Air and the carbon 6K as they are closest in size, weight, and prices. The rest are all 10,000 milliampere and almost double the cost. Carbon 6K is cheaper, cylindrical, and slower charging at 10 watts. The NB Air is thin, cut shape, charges at 18 watts, and is better for slim carry. So which shape and features matter more to you? Let me know in the comments. Now both are highly waterproof, with the Carbon 6K slightly ahead with IP68. But in charging speed and slimness, NB Air clearly wins. At $79, the NB Air isn't cheap by any means. But considering how thin, fast and tough it is, you're actually paying for features you use daily. Now, Carbon 6K might seem better value at first glance, but slower charging and a cylindrical shape isn't for everyone. If you value ultra slim form factor and faster speeds, the NB Air makes perfect sense. So now going back to our original question about compromises, what's the verdict on the NB Air? There are some trade-offs, sure, you're getting less capacity than similar priced power banks and there's also only one output port and you're paying a premium for the form factor. But for the right user, those are not compromises at all. They're exactly why they will buy this. Pair it with the N-Link 10 cable and you've got a complete 100 gram charging solution. So bottom line, if you're obsessed with shedding weight or you really hate bulky gear, you will love the NB Air. But if you're all about maximum capacity for the lowest price, you should look elsewhere. I'm curious what you think. Would you go for the highest energy density per gram or the highest capacity at the lowest price? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you on the next one. MJ signing out.